Well, we may need to open a window or two. Uh, we do, the concert does begin at 7 o'clock. We had uh, sudden news that someone had read that it begins at half past 7. So, uh, but we'll play at 7. All of our information that we have sent out, we just checked, said 7. So we'll play at 7. Uh, 20 years ago, uh, I, someone named Susan was asked to open a harp program at the music school in Kristianstad. Uh, the, the teachers there thought that it was natural to have a harp since they had orchestras also and the harp has a natural place in the orchestra. So 20 years ago uh, we started having a harp there and that's what we celebrated. And that's what started all of this. So we're celebrating 20 years of the harp in Kristianstad. And about a year ago the Harp Society, Friends of Harps, uh, and uh, myself decided yes, we'll do a festival too. How can we celebrate? Uh, we'll have a a wonderful festival. And this is the result that you're seeing here. We've been here since Thursday and had wonderful courses with wonderful instructors. Uh, we have participants from about seven or eight different countries. Uh, and in Sweden, we have many from as far north as Celestio, uh, far south as Simisham. The Harp Society has worked very hard through all of this. Uh, I can guarantee you that. And uh, for more than one year, as I said, and I am very grateful, and I think that all the participants who sit here are very grateful to the Harp Society for all the work that they put in. On your printed program, unfortunately, one extremely important name was missed. That is the name of Lisa Vittenen from Finland, who is leading the orchestra. And if you want to know who did the program, then you'll know who's the most ashamed person in the room right now. <laughs> when I was having dinner with Anne-Marie O'Farrell from Ireland, she told me, Susan, it's okay. Do you know the same thing happened to me? I was in, in Dublin and, and we had a big uh, orchestra concert and I was a conductor and no one, my name, I wasn't on the program either. They just like to forget the conductors. Although that's part of the most important part of the program, someone that keeps us all together. Lisa, mea culpa. <laughs> Maria. Sitt 
hjertene i Guds fred, være av grammar fred. In English, it will be, be welcome with honor, it will be very hearty welcome. Here we will be going to sit, sitting in God's peace and be friends. Thank you. 
She walked one warm day with sky full of fluffy clouds. Her constant companion, her heart, was on her arm as she walked out, carefree and flat. She looked to the bright sky, walked to the eastern meadow by the forest and the sea. Fluffy clouds were forming into shapes of teddy bears and camels and gaping mouth profiles, although most of them looked like spring sheep before their shearing. <laughs>
on she walked, her harp on her arm. She found a large flat stone, warm from the sun, and made herself comfortable on it. She played a tune together with the bird song and sea waves. Her eastern meadow was grassy and sandy, with a grove of trees and a drop up down to eastern sea. She watched the clouds with her sharp contours. She assigned them names and shapes, and she imagined they were dancing gently to her simple tune. her all the while he swaggered closer. <coughs> they introduced each other and she saw he was not a dangerous beast, though he did appear sly and mischievous. They quickly became friends. He spied a shiny object in the ground and with the snow he propelled it into the air. A shiny penny. <laughs> The coin rolled towards the sea, they both laughed and chased it. Instead of greed, they played with the coin, sharing it, and turned the game into a dance of sorts, all under the bright sky and warm sun. Still laughing from the dance game, 
And they did not even know where that penny ended up. The winds blew quite suddenly in from the west, blasting red fox and girl. It was a bad one, this storm, said the fox. We must find shelter. <coughs> it was so very dark. The wind had forced debris and sand into her eyes. The rain had pelted her. She had tried to run to the forest to find shelter, but lost orientation. It turned cold. She was so wet and was shouting for fox and car.
While our small child, all alone, tried hard to stand, to breathe, and to become warm again. <laughs> to move her frozen limbs, she had a battle going on inside. She lost her heart and her friend, and she was far away from home and loved ones. Though she also had heard the chorus of voices sing to her, whether they were muses or angels, they were trying to encourage. Should she give up? Could she dare to trust? Could she listen to the sky, the same sky who sent storm and its destruction? Our huge sky, our limitless sky, slowly transformed itself from grey to blue through chaotic clouds of all sorts and shapes. Through all the clouds, through all of these clouds, pushed one way. A ray directly from our sun to a tiny opening in the clouds. This ray, like a laser beam, shot to her eyes and touched something deep inside of her, which no person could see. It was a thin filament in her heart. When this delicate, thin filament was touched by the ray from the sun, something resonated set in motion sparks of hope. This vaulted her into a new reality, one of hope and life. And though she did not understand any of this herself, it was real, a real happening and feeling. changed her. She spied a sinewy, strong jackrabbit hopping from afar, off on the western horizon. It was hopping towards her. She stood still and perceived the rhythm from hopping strong feet on wet earth. Was it music once again? Rhythm and melody sprang up, as if from the earth itself.
the sheet clouds once again floating slowly across the expanse of the sky, then you will know that our child felt immense joy from that one ray of sun resonating inside of her. And the hair hopped about in the same pulse of the earth. A pulse, a rhythm, and almost a humming melody was slowly arising from the wet, now moist, and warming up the earth. As in disbelief from the east, she spotted a curious sight, something red dropping towards her, with some odd-shaped thing hanging from it. Oh my! Could she believe her eyes? A red fox with her heart. her heart wet from having slid off the cliff into the sea and the red fox dripping from his heroic heart rescue in the cold sea. The hare was hopping. The fox was shaking off the droplets. The girl ferociously embraced her heart and immediately heard how the fox's miraculous saving of it has transformed it to an even more beautiful resounding thing. It nearly sang on its own. The glorious, thrilling concert of hopping hair, dancing fox, swirling girl, and singing heart. The sun's warm rays and fluffy sheep clouds up in the blue. The hare with his hope and his hopping. The fox with his canny way of saying things, saving things, and our brave girl and her heart. They all raptured on in their impromptu concert and tiny droplets of moisture, hollow things like prisms or diamonds with sun rays shining through. Glorious concert dance, glorious reunion. Fox and the spring hair. It was glorious. 